Hello. In this video, I will go over how to turn a Windows machine running on a laptop into a virtual machine running on Proxmox. The first thing you need to make sure is that you have control over BitLocker. Either deactivate it or make sure that you have the code to deactivate it. This can be done by opening up the control panel, going to System and Security, and then clicking Manage BitLocker. Here you will be able to see the status of BitLocker on your machine. When you're done with that, you can close it down and open up a web browser. In the search bar, enter disk, the number 2, VHD. Click the link pointing to the Learn Microsoft page. And here you'll find the download link. Once you've got it, open the containing folder and extract the contents to a folder. Remember that before you start, you will need to have enough room for the entire machine to be saved. Depending on the version of your machine, click disk to VHD 64 for 64 bit and disk to VHD for 32 bit. Then allow the program to run. Before clicking create, check the box next to prepare for use in virtual PC. Then click create. Once the program is done running, you should have a new file with the name of your machine. Open up a terminal window in the same folder you have your machine. To start copying over the contents to your Proxmox node, enter the command scp dot backslash the name of your machine dot vhdx root at then the IP address of your Proxmox node. If you add colon slash tmp, it will end up in the temp folder, which will be removed at next reboot, so you don't have to remember to delete the file. After entering the password, the upload should start. This will take some time depending on the size of your machine and the speed of your network. While you wait for the upload to finish, you can start making Proxmox ready. Start by searching for the vertio disk image for Proxmox. Scroll down until you find the download link, right click it and copy the link address. Head over to your Proxmox node, enter the storage you like to have ISO files in, and click download from URL. Paste the URL and click the Query URL button, followed by Download. Once the download is complete, you can start creating the virtual machine. In general, give it a name, then in OS, switch out to Windows. If you want, you can check the box next to Add Additional Vert.io Drivers, or you can use the ISO image one because we will not be adding a Windows ISO for this one. Select the Vert.io drive, and if you did it like me, you will have to set Do not use any media on the other drive. Click Next when done. In System, select the location for EFI storage and TPM storage before clicking Next. You can remove the default hard drive by clicking the little trash bin next to SCSI0. Allocate the necessary CPU and memory, and then finish up the virtual machine creation. Next, we will need to make sure the virtual machine is transferred. Once that is done, you can connect to the Proxmox node. Use ssh, root, at, and the IP address of your Proxmox node. Here you can enter the command cd slash tmp and hit enter. Enter the ls command to make sure that your virtual machine hard drive is here. Now enter the command qemu-img convert f vhdx o qcow2 the name of your virtual machine hard drive dot vhdx then the name you want it to have .qcow2. 
This will take some time depending on the size of your hard drive. Next for importing the disk into the virtual machine. Enter the command qm import disk the number of your virtual machine name of your virtual machine hard drive dot qcow2 and then the name of the storage you wish the disk to be stored to. Yet again, this will take some time depending on the size of the hard disk you wish to import. Now to finish up your virtual machine. Select your virtual machine, then click Hardware. Mark the unused disk, click Edit, and then Add. Next, navigate to Options. Edit the boot order by removing the IDEs and NET devices, and check the box next to the hard drive you added, and click OK. You can now start your virtual machine. You might get some updates if you didn't update the machine before running the tool. Once logged into the machine, right click the start menu and click device manager. Once there, you should see a few devices with an error on it. Right click it and then click update driver. Select browse on my computer for drivers. Navigate to and mark the virtio CD drive. Then click OK. Click next and then close when done. Repeat for all the devices that's got an error on them. Once done, the virtual machine should be ready to be used. Quality may vary depending on the type of machine and the resources you have to allocate to it. I hope this video was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.